Depression can be crippling. But what if there was something other than antidepressants you could take to feel better? Today, I'm talking about psilocybin, also known as magic mushrooms, and how research shows it can help treat depression. I will also discuss two research organizations you can contact if you're interested in participating in psilocybin studies. As a psychiatrist, I know that some people don't feel well even after trying several antidepressants. An example is Jonathan, a patient I treated for depression several years ago. He had tried several antidepressants but continued to feel depressed. Jonathan had treatment-resistant depression. This condition affects about 30% of people with depression. It occurs when you have tried two or more antidepressants at adequate doses and duration with minimal response. In cases like this, we can add other medications like antipsychotics. Examples are Abilify, Rixalti, Seroquel XR, and Rela. Other treatment options include S-ketamines Provado and transcranial magnetic stimulation, TMS. Unfortunately, less than 6 to 5% of people get better with these treatment options. This means they don't help everyone and many people continue to struggle with depression despite taking their medications. Also, some antidepressants can cause side effects like nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, fatigue, weight gain, erectile dysfunction, and loss of libido. These side effects are enough to make some people stop the antidepressants. But what if there was a better treatment option for you? A treatment that could get you smiling again, help you get out of bed, go to work, play with your kids, and enjoy your hobbies again. Well, that was what Jonathan did. He showed up to the clinic one day looking a lot better than he had ever looked. He told me he had been taking psilocybin off-label, meaning he was getting it from another source, even if it was not legally approved. Now, I do not recommend that as this could be dangerous. You might be taking too high a dose and perhaps even taking the wrong substance. We do know, however, that there are lots of studies on psilocybin, and this may well become a mainstream medication in the near future. So what is psilocybin? This is a substance found in certain types of mushrooms. These mushrooms grow wild in regions like the United States, South America, Europe, and Mexico. Psilocybin is perhaps the best known naturally occurring psychedelic drug. Psychedelics or hallucinogens are drugs that alter your mood, thoughts, and perceptions. Psilocybin works in the brain by stimulating the 5-HT2A serotonin receptors. This increases the amount of serotonin in the brain, which helps with mood. The part of the brain most activated is an area known as the prefrontal cortex. This region of the brain affects your mood and how you perceive things. After consuming psilocybin, your body breaks it down to psilocin. The effects usually manifest in 30 to 40 minutes and last about four to six hours. For some people, the effects can last for several days. It can change how you perceive objects and people within your environment. There have been several studies on the positive effects of psilocybin on depression. One such study found that psilocybin-assisted therapy produced significant, rapid, and sustained antidepressant effects in patients with major depressive disorder. What was fascinating about some of these studies is that only one to two doses of psilocybin produced sustained effects, often lasting several months. Psilocybin is not new to man. For thousands of years, magic mushrooms have been used for medicinal and ceremonial purposes in some cultures. Quite a few well-funded legal research studies were done in the mid-20th century. This showed that carefully monitored and controlled use of psilocybin may be beneficial for many psychiatric disorders. They also demonstrated benefits for personal and spiritual development and creative enhancement. Despite these results, however, psilocybin was banned in the 70s until the late 90s. At this time, several ongoing research studies continue to show promising results. Note, though, that all these researches are co environments with reasonable control and monitoring. 
This studies aim to show the benefits and safety in disorders like depression, anxiety, PTSD, OCD, eating disorders, and addiction. These results will likely translate to the legal use of psilocybin, but time will tell. One common question I get is, will psilocybin show on a drug test? Such testing could be for legal reasons or employment. First of all, urine drug testing for psilocybin is not common. On average, though, the urine detection time is about 15 hours for people who only use mushrooms occasionally. Hair samples may yield psilocybin even up to four weeks after consumption. USONA Institute is a medical research organization that makes psilocybin in the lab. In 2019, the FDA granted breakthrough therapy designation to USONA's application for psilocybin as a potential treatment for major depressive disorder. Breakthrough therapy designation is a process designed to speed up the development of new drugs. USONA has completed phase two or four on their psilocybin study. Their phase two trial was the largest study evaluating the safety and efficacy of a single dose of psilocybin to treat major depressive disorder. This study showed very promising results. Compass Pathways is another research organization that recently published a study in the New England Journal of Medicine. This trial showed that a single dose of psilocybin in combination with psychological support significantly reduced depressive symptoms. So far, ongoing studies have shown positive results, and we will likely see psilocybin as an FDA-approved substance for treating mental disorders. I'll update you as things pan out. My name is Dr. A, psychiatrist and lifestyle medicine physician. Stay tuned.